Hi, here we are in Route 66 in Oklahoma, starting off in Elk City with the National Route 66 Museum, then to Clinton for the Oklahoma Route 66 Museum, then to Arcadia for Pops for some soda, and then the Arcadia Round Barn, a bite to eat at Cuckoo's, into Miami of Oklahoma, oh, excuse me, Miami of Oklahoma and the Coleman Theater, and then finally to the Blue Whale of Catoosa. Thanks for following along. If anything on this video rings a bell with you, like and subscribe. Are you ready for some puns and dad jokes, but not a bum steer? You'll like this adventure. Before we got inside the National Route 66 Museum, we were pleasantly detoured by some amazing and creative art. A little further down Route 66, we're at the Oklahoma Route 66 Museum in Clinton. Please stop at the Route 66 Museum in Clinton, Oklahoma, exit 61, uh, for a small fee. It's, it's a great museum and uh, proceeds go to a good cause, not to my coffee fund. Just left Jig's uh, smokehouse. I'll let you know if this is, uh, tastes more like a cigar or jerky. It's kind of hard to tell right off the bat. Anyway, got a light? Okay, smoke them if you got them. Go ahead, make my day. Ready for the world's smallest boomerang? I must ask you a question this way this way. Maybe if I put it in my mouth I'll shut up. Good news, the jerky was really good. Bad news, I ate all my props. We're at the Catoosa Blue Whale. Some of the kids are catching fish. Don't swim here. Blue Whale of Catoosa was built by Hugh Davis, a zoologist, as a place for his grandkids to play and swim. The Blue Whale is 20 feet tall and 80 feet long. Hugh and a friend worked on it for years. It was finished in 1972. Admission is free. No swimming allowed. Fishing is catch and release. Pops has a full-service restaurant, a convenience store, a gas station, and of course, lots and lots of sodas. Out front is a 66-foot tall soda bottle, lit up at night with hundreds of LED lights. Pops was not named after soda, but for the owner's dad, affectionately called Pops. If you had a business, what would you name it? Here we are, day seven of a 100-day road trip to Route 66, <laughs> rural America. Thanks from Pops, the Schooner's Coffee Cola. Oh, that's pretty good stuff. Gilbert Parks, a dedicated volunteer at Acadia Round Barn. I volunteer in my hometown. If you volunteer, please share in the comments below. This barn originally was a 
stock barn. It had animals in it, horses, cows, chickens, goats, all kinds of things all around the side. And they had hay stacked in the middle. As usual, good news and bad news. The good news is we're in the dance hall here, upstairs. The bad news is, or other good news is, I will not be dancing for you. You're welcome. Yeah, some round things are interesting, somewhat. And some round things are really, really interesting. Not this one, one behind me. Arcadia Round Barn. Where are we going? Miami. Miami, Oklahoma, that is. Wayland's Cuckoo Burger, right along Route 66, the Mother Road. I was a bit cuckoo before I got there and stuffed when I was done. I've been calling this Miami for weeks. It's Miami, a Native American Indian tribe pronunciation. Coleman Theater was built in 1929 by George Coleman, who owned a mining company. George's friend and neighbor in Los Angeles was Bing Crosby. George sought Bing's advice on how to build a movie theater. The exterior is Mission. The interior is Louis the Fifteenth. The Wurlitzer pipe organ is one of 17 built for theaters. It's the only one in its original home. The Coleman Theater chandelier was taken down to renovate the support cable. The electrician working on it became sick and unfortunately died. The chandelier was missing for about 45 years. It was later found in a horse barn. At one point, all the gold leaf in the Coleman Theater was painted brown. Don't ask me why. It was relieved in the 1980s at about $20 a foot. That's about a wrap from the Coleman Theater in Miami, Oklahoma. Thanks for following along. We started in Elk City at the National Route 66 Museum to Clinton for the Route 66 Muse Museum, uh, some pops in Arcadia and the Round Barn, the Cuckoo Burger, and the can't forget the Blue Whale of Catoosa. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Like, subscribe, share. Also, check out some of my other videos. Thanks. God bless.